everyone, you can see I've got my makeup artist Nikki LaRose with me. Today we're gonna talk about makeup dupes. Specifically, we are going to try some of the most popular makeup dupes on the internet and tell you if they stack up or not. So before we get started, I think it's important to point out that I am kind of a purist. I think it's really hard to dupe any product. I really do. There's so much more that goes into it. You know yeah. I'm all about formulation. Yeah. So for me to dupe a product, there's a lot that has to go into yeah. it. I'm called a makeup snob all the time, and I am to a certain extent, but I do love a good dupe. And if I find a good dupe, I'll put it in my kit, I'll use it on my clients. So I'm open to it, but it yeah. has to be good. Yeah, the reason why we say this is because we are really picky. We're gonna be very critical yes. of these supposed dupes mm -hmm. and let you know how they stack up because I think that's important. You know, I, the worst thing, honestly, it, to me, is when somebody tells me that this is a dupe for any type of product that I love, and then I go and get it, and it's nothing like it happens all the time. All the time. Yeah. I think this is gonna be a fun video. I think it's gonna be great and very informative. All right, so makeup product number one is this one from Urban Decay. Yes. It's the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Mm -hmm. This is the newest product of all the ones that we're going to try mm -hmm. to dupe, and one that I have been using a lot because I love glowy makeup. I love glowy makeup, especially love. when you're doing it yourself. Yeah. Love glowy makeup. And exactly. I haven't tried that, so I, I trust your opinion on yeah, it. Yeah, it makes sense. And yeah. so right now on the internet, people say that the yeah. Milani Glow hydrating skin tint is a perfect dupe for this. I've been hearing that, yeah. If you are new to this product from Urban Decay, the talking points or their marketing points for this is that it gives you glowing skin, mm -hmm. it is moisturizing and hydrating, it has beautiful oils in it, it even has fermented ingredients in it that help to brighten your skin oh, really? over time. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's also long wearing. So it's medium coverage, mm. even though it gives you that glow, yeah. it is medium coverage. I think this is a beautiful foundation if you like glowing skin. So this one has very similar claims. It gives you glow. I mean, they, they both are playing up the glow in the front packaging, right. right? Like they want people to know you're gonna use this, it's gonna give you glowing skin. Mm -hmm. This one though does say it's sheer to light okay. coverage. That's like the big differences. Yeah. Also the differences are the price. This is $12 Wow. and this is $29, which actually isn't a a ton for a good That's foundation. That's pretty average, yeah. But $29, $12. So you wanna feel them? So. So that's the Urban Decay. Yep. Um, by the way, I did not get the color match correct. The Milani that I picked out ended up being a little bit darker. Even it's though hard, it's really it, hard. It really, honestly, that's one of my least favorite things about drugstore yep. makeup. So. Hmm. Okay, so I'm swatching the Milani. Okay, I am swatching the Milani too. Interesting, okay. It feels really nice. It feels beautiful. Very hydrating. And I'm going straight for the Urban Decay now. Okay. That already feels a lot thicker. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna be like more of like a, an instant amount of coverage. Whereas this one, you can tell it is true to its packaging. Like it says it's a sheer to medium mm -hmm. or a sheer to light, was it? Mm -hmm. And you can tell going on initially, it's like, it's mm. it's more watery and it's more sheer. I guess it's it's hydrating, so. This is probably something you'd have to build up a little bit more depending on like how much coverage you want. Whereas mm -hmm. this guy goes on and it's kind of like wham, bam coverage. So you just nailed it. You can see how they're kind of settling too. And yeah. you know, the, the Urban Decay does oxidize. I will say that. Like, I don't know if you're noticing, it's turning yeah. a little bit more of like an orange tone. And on that my can hand. happen too with fuller coverage, mm -hmm. especially I feel like it's probably oxidizing a little bit too because of that claim that's, you know, 24 hours. Sometimes longer wearing foundations, some of the ingredients, I'm not sure what ingredients make it long wear, to mm -hmm. be honest, but sometimes that can oxidize, mm -hmm. depending. Yeah, totally. So when you look at the ingredient list, you'll see that they've got a very similar vibe going, but when it comes to these hydrating oils, the Urban Decay marketing has marula oil as like the oil that they're really trying to spotlight here. But when you look at the ingredient list, and this doesn't always completely matter, but I think it does in once you start feeling in, this is why it's important to feel a product oh, yeah. before you judge it. it. Yeah. yeah. What you'll see is that the marula oil is actually way further down on the ingredient list oh, for the Urban Decay. Okay. And the the Milani, on the other hand, mm -hmm. is really like they, they talk about on the packaging, 
how it has 29% squalane in it. Wow. And when you look at the ingredient list, the squalane is the second ingredient on that ingredient list. So wow. it's water and then squalane. So squalane makes up a very decent amount yeah. of this product. So it makes sense that it is way more sheer. Absolutely. That explains mm -hmm. this entire finish. Exactly. Yeah. What I call these dupes, you know, like at first I kind of was like, oh my gosh, they are dupes. Yeah. But the more I used them and the more I played with them, the more I started to realize the Milani really is for people that have like bordering on like perfectly clear skin. Like you cannot yeah. have any texture to your skin. Small pores. Yeah. yeah. Like if you just have like really beautiful skin or dry skin and you just want yeah. a glow yeah. and maybe like a little bit more perfection of your skin, that's the Milani. Yeah. If you want to have glowing skin, but you need that coverage, mm -hmm. you're gonna go for the Urban Decay because it's way more classic. They put a lot Definitely. more thought into that coverage and it's it's just a completely different type of product. You can even just see, like finish wise, this one's drying down just a little bit, not a lot, but this one is really stain, almost wet. Mm -hmm. like, like you just applied it. So it's not drying down at all. And so imagine that on your face, it's not gonna really wear as long as that Urban Decay. So that Urban Decay, it's probably not gonna last 24 hours, but it's probably gonna last a heck of a lot longer than this. Absolutely. Yeah. They're both nice, but yeah. I wouldn't say that they're dupes. They're not dupes. Yeah. Next product that we're gonna dupe is the Glossier Cloud Paint. And supposedly, the dupe for it is by Maybelline. It is their Cheek Heat. I'm not a Glossier stan or anything like that. Yeah. This product though, of all their makeup products, was my absolute favorite. I'm a, I'm a use my fingers to apply my makeup kind of girl. Yeah. I like to look pretty natural when I'm not with you and totally. on camera. Yeah. Like I like to look glowy yeah. and this is right up my alley. And it's easy. It's super easy. Yeah. It's super, super easy to use. So supposedly these are a match, like a dupe dupe match. Yeah. And honestly, there's a pretty decent price difference too. These Maybelline Cheek Heats are Cheek Heats. They're kind of a cute name. It's cute, yeah, yeah. totally cute. These are $8 and these are $18. Yeah. $18 isn't wild or anything like that, but if you can get something that's so much cheaper that does the same thing for the same amount of product, pretty much. So this is Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. Yeah, such a pretty color. I love this color. Like the it's, color, it's I mean, gorgeous. The color is gorgeous, so. You wanna Thank put that you. on? Yep. A little bit. Yeah, hit me. All right. Do you know? Okay. What color is this again? Uh, I think it's like a coral. Coral, coral ember. ember. So this is the cloud paint. Mm-hmm. Super nice. Like I said, I, I've definitely tried it quite a few times. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is very interesting. Mm-hmm. This feels like a tinted balm. Lip balm! Me. Yes, it's a lip balm. It's lip balm. It's, it's a lip balm. It's absolutely a lip balm. Like this feels... Yeah. It's a little balm. It's sheer. It's, it's so sheer. Super thick. It's balmy. But it, it thins out so fast. It thins out completely. I mean, and the pigment is barely there. It's, it's yeah. It's super sheer. It's disappearing, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. super, super sheer. Like <laughs> cloud paint has way more. There's no comparing the pigment. Yeah, no, there is literally no comparison. Yeah, at all. Because look at that. Mm -hmm. Just me tapping in the Maybelline, mm -hmm. it's gone. Such a huge yeah. difference. These are 100% not dupes. No. That said, because I gave Cheeky a really solid try, mm -hmm. while I wouldn't call it a dupe, I would say it's actually a really pretty product if you know what you're using it for. Yeah. Like if you, like I, totally. I was putting it on my cheeks and I like I started to get the hang of it where I would just tap, tap, tap slightly and then you have to not touch it all. So were you laying it kind of dry down in a way? Yes. Okay, Like you, you have to tap, 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 and then, then let it go. Leave it, okay. Let it be because the minute you start to touch it again, it disappears. You're picking it up, like yeah. I said, yeah. You're yeah. picking up that product. So gotcha. if you want like a sheer glow, like a little wash of color, mm -hmm. it's really pretty on the skin. Right. For a natural glow, which again is my thing, right? Totally. This is actually like the kind of product I would put on if I was like on set and like the makeup look was, they can't look like they have any makeup on, but they're going to have some makeup on. So like you're going to cheat it. Like this would be like a cheap product for me on yeah. set. It's more of a stain. That's yeah. what I would say, but a very sheer stain. Super sheer. Yeah. So mm, not a dupe. No, definitely not. Even not even close. No, sorry. So next we're gonna talk about a product that used to be one of my all-time favorite mm -hmm. brow products. It's by Benefit, it's their Gimme Brow Plus Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. And the dupe out there is the Ooh. Maybelline 
Brow Fast Sculpt. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. So first let's talk a little bit about Gimme Brow Plus. So if you don't know this, they actually reformulated this and then relaunched it because that's right. Yeah, they yep. launched it years and years ago. I thought it was actually a great product then, but then they mm. relaunched it, slightly changed the formula, and it became a huge hit. It comes in this little tiny jar, but it lasts so long, forever, for me. For you. As yeah. a consumer, using it on myself on a regular basis. Definitely, great. yeah. For a kit, As a makeup artist, I was blowing through this stuff, so different perspective. But. Yeah. As far as the price difference, the one from Benefit is $24. The one from Maybelline is only $8. I mean, come on. I know. That's such an amazing price. Yeah, so if you're blowing through this and it costs more money, yes. then that's that can get pretty expensive. That's gonna add up for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'll tell you, if you haven't used the one from Benefit, it has this little tiny, tiny brush. Which can be handy. It can be handy for, for the sure. tail. Yeah. It's really good for the tail. Yeah. I mean, I, I like it because it also just like combs out all of your brows and stuff and really gets in there. And it has, you know, like thickeners in it. They call it fiber. Yeah, it has but fiber in it. It has the thickeners in it. It has a little bit of tint to it and mm -hmm. it holds your brows up. So if you like to keep your brows groomed, it's a great product. So this one from Maybelline, if you take a look at it, also has a nice little brush, but I think yeah. it's a better kind of brush. Yes. Because it has one end that is a little bit tighter, yep. and then one end that's a little bit longer, so you can really brush your brows and yeah. get that tint in there, mm -hmm. and then you can really tailor it. So like if you do want to use the tail end, yeah. if you wanted to color the tail end of your brows, you can get it with this one too. Yeah. I mean, this is a genius brush, and I'm so happy that they put this on this product because, so the short end, that's where you're gonna deposit most of the color, so that's where you're gonna get like that initial like swipe of color. And if you flip it, that little thin side looks like a little brush. That's when you can brush out the color, make sure it's even, and then really like sculpt the brow. So mm -hmm. this is a, I love brushes like this. I love Genius. brushes like yeah. this. What I'll say is while they don't claim to have fiber in here, it does have thickening ingredients in it. And I personally find that it has more tint actually. The Maybelline is a wetter formula, mm -hmm. but I'll say the brush, the tint, and the actual formula when it dries down is better for me. And Nikki actually just tried it out on one of the girls on Felicia yeah. on the team. Yeah, I just got to try it. And even just like, what, like 10 seconds after I initially tried the Maybelline one, you could tell formula-wise, it was going to hold all day. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't necessarily call these a dupe because I think they serve different purposes. Like I'll say, you know, like the Maybelline dries down really, really crispy, which I like. I love a crispy brown. I do too. Like I know it's not going anywhere. Yes, yes, it is holding it in place, but if you're the kind of person that likes to, you know, like use a brow gel and then maybe like fix with a pencil or something like that, it's really hard to do that with this yes. because it is in place at that point. Well, so one thing too, one good tip then, if you, let's say you still need to like fill in your brows a little bit more, you would wanna go in with your pencil or your powder first and apply that color and then you go in, you brush it out with this and you, you fill in any missing gaps, you still need more color and then that way you're not trying to like put the powder or the pencil on top because it will it will get actually stuck to your brows. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. so that is one thing to keep in mind. But as far as calling these a dupe, I'm gonna say these are actually close in as far as like being a dupe, but Definitely. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I like the Maybelline better. A thousand percent. I mean, I used it once and I already think this is a way better product. Even if this was 20 bucks, I would still think it's way better. Same, 100%. Yeah. The price is kind of an added bonus. So it's only eight bucks. That's a great price point. The one thing I will give to benefit is that they have 10 different tints and then a clear mm -hmm. versus the Maybelline has five different tints and a clear. Right. So next product we're gonna dupe or try to do. Yes. Or the internet says is a dupe. I think this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> this is from NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer we have been using this for, I don't know, how I've, many years? I think since I've known you. Yeah. yeah. Like this is my go-to concealer, especially on camera. We've definitely compared this concealer to lots of other products. Yeah. Supposedly, mm. this Maybelline Fit Me concealer. That's all it is. <laughs> Maybelline, I thought there was gonna they be some kind basic, of a better yeah. name. <laughs> it is a concealer. It's by <laughs> Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. You can see that they went for they're definitely trying to make you know that they think it's a dupe. Like yes. they're trying to tell us without telling us. It's like, tell me yeah. you're a NARS dupe without telling me you're a NARS dupe. <laughs> uh, just like the cheek tints, right? Like those two totally. packages, yeah. like they're trying to say that this mm -hmm. is a dupe for this product. So, you know, it's really interesting to, to try them out for sure. First, let's talk about why we love the NARS concealer so much. Where do I begin, first okay. of all? I'm it's, wearing it right now. 
She's wearing it right now. And it, it's so funny because I've tried to like bring other concealers into the kit and tried to like, you know, test them out on camera and like test them out like for the daily and just maybe like replace this one because I bought so many times, I kind of got tired of buying it to mm -hmm. be honest, but I can't replace it. Nothing compares to it. Again, In my opinion, you. I love it. The formula is amazing. It is more hydrating. It feels more moisturized on the skin. It looks very smooth on the skin, which I love. And it, it's an amazing under eye concealer. Nothing compares. Yeah, it blends. It's like that perfect formulation too, because a lot of under eye concealers, I think can be a little too thick. Yes. Right. And they look cakey. Mm -hmm. This is actually on the thick side, but it doesn't look cakey. Yeah. Okay, nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. And we didn't match the colors perfectly. Again, you know, it's a little hard. Yeah, but we, we tried. Okay. I want to hear your thoughts because I've been, again, mm. I've been playing with these. Okay. Well, so I have many thoughts right away. This is a lot more wet of a formula. It, you can you can just see too. Like, this looks more creamy. It looks a little bit more thick, right? Mm -hmm. This looks a little more sheer. Like, I feel like I'd have to build this one up a lot more. Like if I did one swipe of the NARS, that would be enough coverage. I feel like I'd have to go in and probably do like, depending like two or three layers of this to get the same amount of coverage as the NARS. So this one's like working harder, not smarter. Whereas this one is like a one and done and it, it's a great formula. And so also you can see like this one's a lot more sheer, whereas the NARS, swatching it, it maintains that coverage so well. Immediately, I can see why people want the Maybelline to be a dupe. Mm -hmm. The price difference is big. The NARS is $30, yep. the Maybelline is $7. Yeah. So if the Maybelline were a perfect dupe or really close, yeah. I would be singing its praises. Because, I'd be all over it, yeah, totally. Like $7 yeah. for a concealer that, that compares to yeah. the NARS would be amazing. And with this one, you'd have to build it up so much that by the time you get the amount of coverage that you want, mm -hmm. it's gonna look cakey. Yep. So, yeah, not good. Yeah, so I 100% say this is yeah. not a dupe. What I will say is I'm not wasting this product. I find it to be kind of like an illuminator. It also, I happen to get a shade lighter than I wanted yes. it to be. So I've been using it like an illuminator. Definitely. So you can use it, you know, like around your eyes or, you know, like to just brighten the area, even like underneath your foundation. Yeah, I would say less is more though. Yes. So because the more you put that product on, it might tend to ball up mm -hmm. and it might tend to look cakey. So if you just do a couple little dabs to highlight certain areas, mm -hmm. then I think it would work nice. Yeah, it's more sheer, so keep yeah. that in mind. The other thing to point out that I think is really important is that the NARS comes in 30 different shades yes. and the Maybelline only comes in 14 different shades. So that's oh. also it's also lacking in yeah. different colors. Yeah, and for concealers, you definitely wanna have a lot of shades, absolutely. All right, so the next one is one of our favorite products. Like yeah. we've been using it since it came out and we yep. loved it. It made us Fenty stands. It is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, the original color mm -hmm. Fenty Glow. We love this stuff. It's love it. Yeah, I've, I have bought so many of these. It, I mean, I've gone through so many. So I love the formula. I know it so well. Yeah. And the color is gorgeous, obviously. It, you can see it's like a, this perfect neutral that looks mm -hmm. good on everyone. everyone. Mm -hmm. We love this stuff. So this costs $19 yep. and the supposed dupe for it is by Revlon. This is the super lustrous, the gloss and the color is rosy future. Ooh. The price for this is also $9. So wow. while this isn't like extremely expensive, that's still a $10 difference. Yeah. And that's big too. When you're using a gloss, like think about how many times you pull that out of your purse or out of your makeup kit to like reapply. Gloss isn't something that wears for a long time. So you're always reapplying it. So then that price point definitely adds up. Mm -hmm. A $9 gloss is very refreshing. Yes, for sure. If it's good. So, okay. So let's go ahead and swatch. I'm gonna put the Fenty on top for me. Nice. Here you go. I love the way this smells too. Like, oh, even the, just opening it, you can yeah. smell how. Mm, <laughs> so good. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna put the Revlon right underneath it. And already, oh, like, wow. like, as far as the brush goes, like Look nice big fat doe foot brush. I love that applicator too, mm -hmm. especially like for personal use. I love this kind of applicator. It's mm -hmm. so nice. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's impressive. All right, so I'm gonna put it underneath the Fenty. All right, I pressed a little harder, so let me try to. Wow, okay. Mm. Wow. I mean. This is the first time that you're like, huh. This looks really good. Do you uh -huh. even see a difference? Um, I see some very, very slight differences, but. Very slight. So slight that I hate to, I hate mm. to admit it, but I actually think that if you're on a budget, 
Yeah. Even if you're not on a budget, the Revlon is really nice. The color is beautiful. It almost has, it's almost slightly more rosy. Like obviously that, that's in the name. Mm -hmm. But, and I kind of like that. I like a rosy color on the lip. I think it's really pretty. And it's also like very universal. Mm -hmm. Just like the fancy one is too. It's obviously very universal. But mm -hmm. I think the true test and the true difference is going to be how it feels, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it looks the same. You know, as it know. starts to settle a little bit, you can see that the, the Revlon has a little bit more shimmer to it. It does. And it's maybe like a touch more sheer actually, but still gives yeah. decent payoff for a lip yeah. gloss. And look, it's not moving too, which is mm -hmm. a good sign. Mm -hmm. Normally like, I would say like inexpensive lip balms or lip products mm -hmm. could or move. lip glosses could move and like kind of like just spread out. This is staying put, which is a good sign. That that, that tells me that it's probably gonna be longer wearing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually touch it. So this is a Fenty. Mm -hmm. The Fenty is, is really nice and it's been a staple in my kit because it's not sticky. And a lot of my clients, even me personally, we don't tend to love like a sticky balm. It kind of feels like annoying after a while. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been such a huge fan of the Fenty one because it's not sticky. It just kind of feels like balmy and nice. Even when you put them on the lips, I've been wearing the Revlon one for the past week. When you put them on your lips, it's actually really hard to tell the difference. I'll say that. Is it? Yeah, like putting it, swatching it like this on your hand feels a little bit different than actually putting it on your lips. Okay. When you put it on your lips, they feel very similar. If somebody were to like look at me, mm -hmm. they probably wouldn't tell the difference. There's no like, way. The fragrance is different. The like colors are yeah. slightly different. There's a little bit more shimmer to the Revlon, mm -hmm. but really yeah. that is one of the closest dupes I've ever seen. These, these are all so slight. Mm -hmm. Like the shimmer is so slight. The color difference is so slight. I mean, it's almost like undetectable. And if you're saying it feels the same way, I'd say count me in. I'm really impressed. I think I actually might go out and buy this and put it in my kit. Now I wanna see what other shades they have for the Yeah, brand. I mean, this is a really nice formula. So I, I say it's a dupe, 100%. Okay, all right, you heard it. 100%, you heard it heard. yes. All right, so this is gonna be the last product in this video today, and it is, I mean, I love this. This is by Hourglass. This is their 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel eyeliner. The color is Canyon. It comes in a few different colors, yeah. but Canyon is by far the best color. It's a nice dark brown. Yes, it's like a really, really mm -hmm. rich dark brown. And the dupe for it, it is by Revlon. It is their Color Stay Micro Hyper Precision Gel Eyeliner. And this it's color is brown. It's just yes. brown. But it's a really brown. pretty brown. It's very, dark and it's rich. Very, and it's, very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about the price difference first. This is $18 for one pencil from Hourglass, which doesn't sound wild. No. But this pencil, you go through it oh, so yeah. quickly. So fast. That you have to have backups on you all the time. Because yeah. there's also something about it that when you turn it up, you cannot retract it. Yeah, like so that, be it's, careful. It's stuck. So once you pull it out, you turn it up, you can never go back. Like you just cannot go back. But the thing that makes it so beautiful is that it is a gel consistency. Yep. It gives you this beautiful, I mean, super thin line. If mm -hmm. you wanna use it to tight line, if you wanna use it to, even to give yourself like a winged liner look. Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful. And the formula is so nice. Yep. Like it says, it's a gel. So it's going to glide on so effortlessly. You're not gonna have like that tugging effect with some pencils. But even it being a gel, it's super long wearing. It doesn't run mm -hmm. and we We've, really used we it. We have used it, used it, used it, used it, used it for yeah. years. We love this stuff. And once it sets, which is like a pro and a con, yeah. once it sets, you're not moving it. Like if you want to blend this liner, you blend it ASAP. You put yeah. that on and you blend, blend, blend immediately because it sets and it doesn't budge, which is what makes it amazing. Yes. Um, but you have to definitely like be prepared for that. Yeah, it's, I love this eyeliner so much. And like you amazing. said, it's great for a wing too. You know, once you, if you blend it out right away, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a great, great formula. So this eyeliner from Revlon, they have a different eyeliner actually within this like collection mm -hmm. that's a little bit thicker that had got me started on this eyeliner. Oh really? Yes. Oh. I love I love that eyeliner. I use it consistently also, but then I got this. I first got it in PR. This is a brand new one now that I have started purchasing. First yeah. off, you can retract it. So you know how much you have. Such a bonus. Like I don't understand why you can't retract the hourglass yeah. one at all. It is just as thin of a line mm -hmm. that it gives you, but like you can see the colors are very similar. Mm -hmm. The color payoff is very similar. Yep, let's see. And it feels really nice 
on your skin. I mean, like on your eye area. I mean, it's so close mm -hmm. and for half the price mm -hmm. and for the amount of times you're going to use this, like think about how many times you use your eyeliner. A lot. A it's lot. like a staple. Daily. Right? It's a dupe. It's 100, it's Such like 100% a dupe and not necessarily like, it's not one for one. Like the ingredient list is actually really different. So mm. if you're a consumer looking at this without trying it, you'd be like, mm, I don't know about that. And you know, what I'll say like, even though I love how beautiful hourglass packaging is and stuff. Yeah, it's very nice. I, I honestly, I don't mind the packaging. I in fact think yeah. it might be better packaging on the Revlon just because it is a retractable pencil. Yes. That's the um, game changer. And it also has and, a smudger. Which is kind of nice. Like, so like we said, like if you're going to use it to line your top lash line and, and try to get a wing or try to get like a smudgy effect, it's got a built-in smudger. Yeah. Though I'll, I'll admit, I like never use a smudger. I never do, but I know I a pencils. lot of people that do and they, they love them. So it's there for you if you need it. Yeah. But the fact that it retracts is a game changer. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like to the human eye, no one's going to know the difference. So mm -hmm. if you want to save some money, go with the Revlon yeah. one as much as I love this. I love it too. And I, I love Hourglass as a brand. I think they're an amazing brand, but we have been so impressed by this. So impressed. And really using it like hardcore. Like buying tons of this. Yeah. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I could do this all, all day, day long. long. Yes. And, and in fact, we have six other products that we had ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and share that video next week because this is just too much fun to compare products and yeah. figure out if they're dupes or not. I think we did a good job. I think we did too. I think I, we had some good give me products. Five. I think we did. I think we did well. Yeah, I think it was great. <laughs> if you guys like this type of video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Tell us if you want to see more dupes video. I mean, we already told you you're going to get a second one next yeah. week. Or if there's any that we left out mm -hmm. that we didn't know about, let us know, right? Like, yeah. I mean, I feel like everyone's getting fooled by TikTok these days. Like you see yeah. all these people on TikTok saying like, this is a dupe or this is an amazing viral product. But are they really? No. Let us know. Let us know if there's something that you want us to try. If you guys want to follow Nikki on Instagram, her handle is Makeup by Nikki LaRose. Mm -hmm. And you can find me at Susan Yara. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.